So Denise Presso and I had a pretty bold vision when we founded FWE um, in 1993. We wanted to see women reach parity with men entrepreneurs. So we wanted to see them well represented if you looked at the whole ecosystem. Um, entrepreneurs founding companies, entrepreneurs later turning into executives running companies, um, and even you know women represented in other groups like venture capital and consulting and academia. And so we had a very bold vision about that kind of equal representation. It's a very simple plan, although I think it actually worked well, which was let's just invite everyone we know at certain levels. You know, at the time it was mostly director, VP, CEO. Um, let's, let's invite all these women together and let them network and let them find their own connections. All we have to do is put on events. We'll do it quarterly. Um, we'll try to maybe have speakers occasionally and topics that are of interest but we'll let them network and make their own connections. And I think that was a great starting point, but I think we quickly realized that there was so much more you could do, you know, that you could build community by creating directories and getting everybody on email, which was not happening at the time, that you could really slice and dice the membership and create, you know, subgroups of people that would be interested in meeting each other and have more intimate events, and that you could do much larger scale events um, like the annual dinner where you could honor women, you know, of tremendous achievement and really bring together bigger groups. So the vision expanded, but I think it started simple because we both had other jobs and viewed this as a nonprofit we were going to run on the side. I would say at the center of it all was building relationships and building a network. So a lot of people come out of school and leverage their alumni networks, and we felt like, Denise and I felt like there could be a network of women um, representing different aspects of the ecosystem, entrepreneurs, executives, funders, consultants, you know, who could forge relationships as women do and really help each other. And that just came true in spades. And I think what's amazing to me is how enduring those relationships are. Um, you know, you help someone today and you're not really thinking about, well, they're going to reciprocate and then five years down the road, they do. And I think Women in fwe have always helped each other, um, made introductions, offered counsel, um, whether it was through specific groups. Um, I ran the CEO forum for a while, and I, you know, all those women helped each other, you know, with difficult decisions that they were facing, with raising capital, um, and but you've seen it in every aspect of fwe and I think it's just very powerful.